Hey guys, so today we are going to open a Cons of Tarkir fat pack. We're going to split it between Jeremy and Marcus. Um, we're going to split it, I think Jeremy is going to get nine. No, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to open Conspir- Oh, we'll open the Cons of Tarkir. So Jeremy is going to get the first six packs. I'm. Do you want to open the Jeremy's? Or yeah. Jeremy gets six, Marcus gets three packs. Oh, okay. And then obviously in our next video, uh, we'll do the three to one split on the conspiracy, the rest of the conspiracy one. Oh, yeah. Have, no, we can just bite it. Um, so this is actually quite a valuable set right now. I actually don't know that one. But yeah, it's uh, this lands, they're called Fest lands. And that's why the set is quite valuable. Um, it has gone up a ton in price. So you hold on to this pile. This will be your pile five. Oh, okay. And then this is my pile four. And we always have to keep it on camera because then like if we're not on camera, they will uh, accuse us of switching <laughs> out. And it's kind of funny. Guys. I got you guys. Okay, so I'm going to give you, oh, you, you can just drop the dice. I'll give you this one pack. Okay. So that is the six for Jeremy. And then this is a three for Marcus. So do you want to open? Okay. Well, I'll hold the packs and you can open them okay. one by one. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> so you always have to go with packs in front of the camera. Okay. Otherwise people... Okay, so open the pack. Gotcha. Have you opened a lot of magic packs before? No? <laughs> Is the first magic pack? Maybe not my first. Okay. <laughs> so this one is for Jeremy. So we're going to do Jeremy's first. Uh, so we're going to do six for Jeremy and six for Marcus. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, <laughs> okay, you've never opened packs. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the only card... Okay, hold this. The only card they care about is this one in the bottom. Market way. Oh, well, they got a foil windstorm, mm -hmm. so it's a foil. So, yeah, that's just for Jeremy. And then the rare is back here. So I don't, I'm not going to look. Eventually, I'll hit something kind of... So, they want a land. One of these lands are worth, like, about 20 bucks, but nothing else in this set is worth any money. Oh, uncommon. And oh, Mantis Rider. Okay, this one's really good. So this is the so this is the only card of any value. Do you wanna read the card? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the packs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mantis Rider. Ooh, creatures, human, monk, flying, vigilance, and haste. Mantis Riders know their mounts owe them no allegiance. Even a Mantis ride, ridden for years would even consume a rider who loses focus for only a moment. It's a three-three. So it's a human monk, which is really important because it's actually in a human deck that is doing really well. I made a video on it. All right, do you want to open the next one? Do you kind of see what I'm doing? Just like yes. Okay, just, so just gonna... this is another one for Jeremy. Okay, I've opened packs. I've just never opened packs for other people. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a lot different. Like, um, I, I was trying to tell you, like, uh, when you make videos of magic, you're not really making videos for yourself. You're making videos for other people, and that's that's totally different, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, when when people are like, oh, great, like I. I enjoy magic. Da, 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 da. Well, that's not what we're really doing. Okay, so that's a goblin token. Okay, mm -hmm. now flip each card. Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah, just flip from the front. So I, you can kind of see, but there's like a glare in the background. Oh, but okay, so I need to, there we go. Okay, can you see it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else do we have? What else? Okay, well, almost at the end, I think. Let me see. Yeah, well, oh, no, we just got to flip a little faster. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. We're gotcha. running out of batteries. I don't think I charged <laughs> this last night. Okay. Okay, good, one on commons. Oh, that's rare. They didn't get a good one. Okay, oh, no. they got the uh, Death Dealer. Sorry, guys. And then an island. So, oh, jeez, that one. Okay. So we only send them the rares, but mm -hmm. so we didn't hit the land, which is really important. All right, let's let's open another one. Open the next one. Yeah, open the next one. And just do the same thing, but a little faster. Gotcha. So Jeremy has. Well, that was gonna be two packs. Mantis Rider is not the worst. Well, obviously looking for a fetch land. So if you hit it, I will let you know because it will be quite valuable. So this is all the things that they want. They just want one. There's five cards in this entire set that they anyone will want. Mm. Every other cards, it's pretty much garbage. So everyone's list. Yeah, oh, just ignore it. They're just fighting. <laughs> all right, wh where are we now? Oh, we're in uncommon, so we're very close. Okay. Did we get no? So that card was it. So it's this card. I it's not a land. Oh, it's Dragon Throne. That's not a good one either. 
Okay. Sorry, guys, again. Well, it's really Jeremy that you have to apologize for. Sorry, <laughs> Jeremy. I'm so it's really sorry. Jeremy. Uh, but it's okay. Jeremy will still have conspiracy. Uh, take the crown. Okay, so this is not a cheap set to buy in a fat pack, at least. I think the fat pack is quite valuable. Um, I, last time I checked, there's actually no fat packs out there on the, uh, the websites I normally buy. So Jeremy, all he has to do is hit one land and he's probably good. Oh, that's, that was a land, but it's not the one he wanted. <laughs> that's all the land. Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm not, okay, where, where are we, uncommon? Well, uncommon, okay, we're getting close. Okay. Okay, that, oh, that was, that's, okay, this one is not good. <laughs> so he got a, uh, do you want to read the card? Oh, you got a zombie wizard. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two, oh, two and A black. Oh my goodness. A swamp. Sorry. <laughs> if you do return a creature card at a random from your graveyard to your battlefield, it gains flying, trample, and haste. Exile that card at the beginning of your next step. It, if it would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Yeah, so magic is a game about reading. Okay, last, um, oh, we have two more packs of Jeremy from Kanja Tarkir. I'm hoping we can get a fetch land. Um, otherwise, like, it, it looks, uh, not great. <laughs> Sorry, Jeremy. Well, Jeremy, you can sign some autograph stuff for Jeremy. Do you want to autograph some stuff? You'll be, like, the only one who's ever autographed any stuff. <laughs> I would Jeremy, love send us a message on the uh, Patreon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what cards you want to autograph out of the rares. Uh, no, I think I've already signed stuff for them already, so. so that he needs to hit a land. Like, I don't know <laughs> what's going on, because, I don't, what's the probability, like, Okay. Oh, that's a rare. I think that's... No, that's not the rare. Okay, no, never mind. That was not the rare. I thought that was a land. I can't really see. Okay, that's uncommon. Keep going. Oh, that's rare. Siege Rhino. This used to be one of the best cards in Magic. I don't know how... I mean, I think it's an Abzon. Trample. Oh, a 4-5. Mere yeah. approach of an Abzan War, war Beast be one is enough of the, to send in. Yeah, he used to be a quite game. valuable card. It used to be an 8 10 dollars card. I don't think it's that right now. Okay, last pack for Jeremy. Okay. Where's Jeremy Luck? All right, Jeremy, because if you have learned to uh, open, open packs, packs a little easier. Yeah. So <laughs> next we have Marcus with these three packs. And then, I don't know. If Marcus gets a fetch land, we're just going to give all the conspiracy packs to Jeremy. Because he, <laughs> he needs it. Uh, if he, Marcus doesn't get a fetch land, we'll do a 3 to 1 split. We also have like other, but its problem is like most magic cards are not like expensive anymore. Um, there, there's just like, or there's not much value in them, I guess. The packs are still expensive, but oh, is that, that rare? Oh, Murder's Cut. I thought that was Tassiger. Oh, that's rare. Okay. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> <"Wait."> <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's read that one. Okay, Tremble and Hexproof, uh, Morph, uh, three. Okay, it's a land and a... Uh, forest and a forest. island. A forest and an island. Sorry, I don't have my glasses. <laughs> this, the Sagu jungle's thick undergrowth conceals even the largest predators. So that used to be like... Hidden. That used to be like semi-decent. Okay, so Jeremy, let's... Stop. Okay, hold these packs. You can throw the packs on the ground and we can clean them up later. So Jeremy, this is what you got. Uh, it's not the best. No, yeah, this is Jeremy. Okay, that's Marcus. Let's open Marcus's packs. Mm -hmm. You want to do these? Yeah, I'll do Marcus's packs. Okay. <laughs> I'm hoping we get a fetch line from Marcus, and then we can just give the other four packs to Jeremy. Otherwise, Marcus will get one pack. Because I feel like Jeremy has not pulled well lately. Okay. I know it's these last few cards that are valuable. So, what do we get? We got a war. Hardened scale. This one's worth a few dollars. This one is not a bad card. So Hardened Scale is definitely better than the other cards we received. So maybe you're just not very lucky. <laughs> Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> okay, Fetch Land. All right, Fetch Land. Let's see. Okay, what we get here? I'm assuming nothing. And another Air of the Wild. Oh, we got... This is pretty bad. Hmm. This was a really bad box. Um, it's a uh, Spell Snatcher. A naga. Whenever you see a snake, it's normally not a good sign. Mm -hmm. So hardened scales and a naga. I don't know. These older sets are just not doing very well. Um, I don't know why. All right, last pack. 
Marcus, good luck. <laughs> so we had a pretty good shot of getting a, one of these valuable fetch lands and we've missed. So, but it's kind of, it's like gambling, right? So let's see. Okay. I think that's going to be uncommon. And then these are commons, uncommons. So let's see what we got. Oh, no fetch land, guys. No <laughs> fetch land. So we'll do a three to one split now of the remaining conspiracy packs. So this comes from the box that we opened. I, we did not open well, so like these packs should be like really good, I assume. So three packs for Jeremy and a one pack for Marcus. Okay. So do you want to open the three packs for Jeremy? Yes. All right, Jeremy. Good luck, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Okay. Oh, that's a crown. Okay, that's good. So just, just do what I did. Oh, just okay. Just make it like, just yeah. Go ahead and. Yeah, just, well, just like go like this. Take the the cards here. Four. Move oh, okay. it forward and then scroll down and we'll see what we get. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is for Jeremy. Okay. I can't even see like the image. Okay. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Oh, Birds of Paradise. That's not a bad one, Jeremy. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, that's like five or six dollars, I think. So that was a good one. And your heist. Okay, so he had two. Why did he have two heists? Oh, that's a bird illusion. So not bad. I mean, that one's actually a very pretty card. It's one of my favorite cards. That's not bad. So maybe we should just keep opening Conspiracy. Contra Tarkir was very bad. You know, this is the cheapest box on the market right now. Um, the Contra Tarkir is one of the most expensive boxes in the market. Oh, really? Oh, uh, for a fat pack, at least. We had one of the. We had yeah, we had a wide one variety one. going on here. Okay, okay so right. take the uh, the, the last four, yeah, the last four and then just kind of slow row it. Yeah. I'm not as good. With, with so this is Jeremy <laughs> again. So Birds of Paradise is not bad, but I think we can get better. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Oh, okay, we missed a rare. <laughs> oh. So this is a foil. Manoplasm. No, it's this one here. But it wasn't good because it's green. Oh. Is it green? It's green. Splitting slime with a mana plasm foil. And take a look at these. Mana plasm gets, well, plus this plus X until end of turn where X is that spell's converted mana cost. Oh, we got two oozes. Oh, yeah. And That's the uh, probability slime. is not that great. Monstrosity is three. This creature isn't monstrous, put three plus one plus one counters on it and becomes monstrous. When splitting slime becomes monstrous, put a token onto the battlefield. That's a copy of spit, spitting, splitting slime. <laughs> that's a, that's a that's tongue twister. That's an interesting one, yeah. Okay, so one more pack for Jeremy. We gotta hope for like the best card in this set because it's pretty bad. Uh, well, I guess it's not like super bad, but it's not the best. And then Christmas shipping will have to like, will probably be slow. Okay, let's let's see. Is so. that, okay, keep going. Yep, keep going. <laughs> okay, let me see. What is that? <laughs> I've never seen. That's the last mythic of the Subterranean set. Subterranean terrors, sorcery. Wow! And then he got like a foil goblin. This is the wow, Jeremy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, this is kind of. Uh, do you want to read it? It's an interesting myth. I'm not, I've, I haven't even seen it ever before. So you got Shambling Goblin. When Shambling Goblin dies, target creature and opponent, target creature and opponent's control gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. Ooh, the call again, send them at us. We kill and raise them. They fight the next wave. The call again, send. It's a neat little cycle. Yeah, and then this one. Goodness, I love it. I love the art on it. Uh, sorcery for the subterranean trimmers. Subterranean trimmers deals X damage to each creature without flying. If X is four or more, destroys all artifacts. If X is eight or more, put an eight-eight red lizard creature token onto the <laughs> battlefield. It's pretty funny. But anyway, Jeremy, uh, maybe we'll do. I think we just have to open more packs for like, and have better chance. This is Marcus, so I'll open Marcus. Oh yeah, you do Marcus. <laughs> I'm not too. To, uh, I mean, we got a Mythic in four packs, so I'm pretty sure that this is not like a good ratio of what we can get. Okay, let's see. So we got a Spectral Grasp. There's no foil. Gang of Devils. Oh, that's uncommon. Pariah. Okay. Ooh. And a foil Hold the Perimeter for Marcus. 
So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> wow, that was, that was something. <laughs> that was something. So let us know if you guys want us to autograph any of the cards. Um, we're going to hold it for a little bit of time. Hopefully this video will be released relatively soon. And yeah, that, this is a 15 minute video. Can oh you my believe goodness, it? Okay, we're done. We're done. All right, bye guys. Bye.